All right, good morning, sports fans. Oh, we are. Oh, my phone don't fall off the water. All right, we're out here again. Checking on these crappies. Now, it's been, it's a week later. Got another boat down here. It's a week later. They've let a lot of water out on the draft. I'm showing them here. It's about 13 feet, 14 foot deep. They're down at 12 foot. They're right on the bottom. faster by Pretty fast. Oh, we got on. Oh, we got on. Got him trying to get that camera set where it's not too. All right, guys, our deal today, we're just going to keep the big ones again. That dang cart come up there and that. Keep some biggins. I hope we get some biggins today. Now the other day when I left, when I left the other day, I shut the camera off. We had two good slabs on here. So today, I'm gonna roll the camera. And we might have an hour, two hour show out of this. Marker. temperatures dropped it was 90 89 90 last week and it's 83 a while ago so these cooler nights we've dropped a little bit of water temperature but they are still here
No, you go ahead and get off my ball. Come on. What you do? You lose your bone? No, you just lose your bone. Seven, they're loaded up at 12 foot, 12 foot and six foot.
got lost. Okay, sports fans, here's the scenario. We fish here, but I got a 27 minute video here. Uh, wind gets bad, I get to bite in the wind. We make it, we make it around to the other two, two fish, two more bridges. Uh, we, we, fish, we catch a few there, but we ended up coming back to here. The wind dies down, we come back to here and do a little bit better. Uh, we switched on the second half, we went down to the other end of this bridge and fished and finished off the day. So that's the scenario. That's kind of what we did. I'll take a minute here to let y'all know. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. I forgot to say there, guys. It's kind of the scenario, the different types of bridges and the water depth and where the piers are at next to the bank. Kind of like where the fish are and where they ain't, where they holding at. So forgot to add that in there. Thanks.
hood, guys. That's how big that crop is. Oh, God. Oh, man. He had a mouth on him. That's the ground.
You ready to go fishing? Huh? You ready to go fishing? Come. All right, sports fans. We tried a. We made a move and got out of the wind. Uh, we're at another bridge here. It appears ain't as close to the bank. You can see behind me, they're not as close to the bank as we was over there. We're going to make a run to the other bridge and try it. Looks like that's a little bit more out of the wind. And uh, if that don't work, we're going back to the big one. We also saw some big splashes while ago, guys. I don't know if it's stripers, uh, something, but I seen some big old splashes while ago against that other bridge. And uh, I'm gonna tie. I've got my sandbag stuff on and some trolling stuff here. If it comes down to it. We'll. Uh, can you get it, Wiz? Can you get your bomb, buddy? Hmm? Don't cut your mouth on that knife we'll make a run back and do some trolling today and try to put a video together here for y'all so, oh i got a fish on haha <laughs> caught one after all guys hang on i don't know what it is die or not give him a chance okay guys stay tuned here and let me get set we'll get moved to the other bridge and see what's there okay guys that one there is real close. We buzzed it by the graph and it's showing, it ain't six, eight feet deep, but it's showing fish there six and eight feet deep real shallow. We're back out here now at 35 feet. There's a few down there at 15. Uh, guys, we're going to try the one here slow. Hang on, short pants. Let me get set up, guys. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, here we are. Here we are in eight foot water. And it shows they're right on bottom. The other day, this was 13 foot of water. Cut this draft off, see if that don't make them. Oh, 
20 foot off the bank. This is like springtime. 20 foot off the bank and ain't gonna work. There won't be no big ones here though. farther away from the bank. Okay hey guys, I want to turn the camera on here real quick. Guys, we run back to we run back to the first pier here, first bridge to go this morning. They are just slow. I'm talking like three, like they're not here anymore. Okay, two.
go, guys. That's better coffee right there. That's a better crappy right there. Okay guys, that slab there and the slab that the big crappie that bent my hook, which was oh. huge, was about the two biggest ones a day. So most of them were small. Yeah, all the big ones since last week, four or five right days there. ago, seemed like they've all moved out. Guide service went back by. Just might like caught a big rack at that time. See him about here about every day. Pier next pier out. 
Okay, guys. Oh, good what you do. Guys, they slowed down right here. I haven't caught nothing for a while. They're, they're, I mean, they're buying real slow. What I'm going to do is move to the other end. It looks like that other, that other, uh, the other pier is a little bit closer to the bank than this one is. What we have to do is what it's coming down to, I think, first the middle of September. So, uh, this will be the change. So, stay tuned, guys. We'll try to head up here.
guy pretty much tell me that that was the only way you could catch the crappie uh, was if you had a live scope. They was going around out in the middle of the lake and holding that jig right in front of the crappie and they'd make them bite it. And they was catching big old females, big slabs, but that was the only freaking way you could catch them. So, I don't know guys, we'll see how it goes from here. And uh, like I said, stay tuned. Next trip, we'll probably get some catfish. Like I said, we got rain for a week. So, let's try to get out here and go in between the rain spells we can. So, thanks again, guys, for watching. Like I said, do appreciate it. Say bye, wizard. Say bye, buddy. You gonna speak? Huh? You gonna speak? You gonna speak? Yeah. All right, guys and gals. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it.